Seeing a lot of me. Whoa! is a better word. Bungling Brothers of the Bungling Brothers Snoring and Boring Circus. And we'd like to give Heathcliff a tryout in tonight's show. Uh, you want Heathcliff to catch some mice for you? No, no, no. We, we want him to do his sensational acrobatics. Acrobatics? I'll tell you what. Just send Heathcliff over to the circus grounds and we'll show him everything he has to do. I'll take Heathcliff over to the circus, Grandpa. Okay, we'll give it a try. At least it'll get him out of the house. 
Heathcliff doing circus acrobatics? <laughs> I don't know about this. When you got it, you got it. Heathcliff, you wait here. I'll go find the Bungling Brothers. <laughs> Hey, uh, being a lion tamer is easy. <laughs> Don't they feed you around here? <laughs> this sort of thought a trick. <laughs> Give him something to reflect on. <laughs> I've been alive up this party. Oh, here's a good one. Rock till you drop. Uh, may I have this dance? I'm a dancing fool. <laughs> Well, Heathcliff, how do you like the circus? So far, so good. Tonight, Heathcliff will get to show the world what he can do. When Heathcliff performs tonight, we get him. Our Heathcliff is in the circus. Why? He's always been a clown. You just wait. Heathcliff is going to be great. I know it. I don't know. I still have a funny feeling about this. Uh, where's the dog act? Will somebody please find the dog act? <laughs> Break a leg, guys. What happened to the dogs? Okay, forget the dogs. Bring up the killer lion. <laughs> this is a killer lion? Get Heathcliff. Yeah, bring on Heathcliff. Tell the ringmaster to announce Heathcliff. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bungling Brothers Snoring and Boring Circus is proud to present the great, stupendous, the amazing Heathcliff! There he is! There's Heathcliff! Ooh, doesn't he look cute? I don't know about this. Without clobbering other animals. 
Do you think you can do that? I was afraid he'd say that. Heathcliff needs motivation. And now, the incredible Heathcliff will perform his amazing bouncing cat trick. Hello. I guess I just have a natural talent for fun. <laughs> We got a picture. The eye in the sky. You mean pie in the sky. You'll see, Cleo. This will work. When we get the satellite in orbit, we can look down and see everything. Every refuse heap, every garbage truck, every trash can. We'll be able to zero in on every gourmet meal in town. Oh, you always know how to dream big, Riff Raff. Stand by for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! Lift off! I don't believe it! Today the junkyard, tomorrow the world! Oh! Oh. It's going to abort! I believe it. Are you okay? Now I'll never see my satellite in orbit. Here's what you need. It's the shuttle rocket, stopping for fuel at Westminster International Airport. Now there is a spaceship that'll fly. The shuttle rocket right here in Westminster. My dream has come true. All we have to do is get this baby on board, and we can let the shuttle pilot do the work for us. They got guards, Riff Raff. So what? We can give him a surprise if we wear a good disguise. Large, don't you think? Just large enough for all of us. Uh, you sure this is gonna work, Riff Raff? Trust me. Ready? Just do everything I say now. I'm your eyes and ears. I'm the brain. You? The brain? We are in trouble. Now, Mungo, let's go. Woo! It's hot in here. Yeah, by those itches. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Do something, please. Don't let him sneeze. <laughs> uh -huh. well, who goes there? <laughs> who? I'll ask the questions here. Uh, do you know the passcode? Oh, no, the passcode. Oh, violets are... Ah, blue. Your foot's in your... Ah, shoe! And bubblegum is too... Ah, shoe! Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you at first. Uh, pass on. Ouch! Watch out! Hey, no! Well, isn't it strange what space can do to your body? Wow! Look at all this stuff! 
good thing we don't have to fly this baby. It'd take a genius to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out, Riff Raff. Let's dump your satellite and get out of here. Just a minute. I'm looking for something. Hey, guys, get these boots off of me. Ooh. Ooh. If I could just figure how to open the door to the cargo bay. Point your toes, Mongo. Yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> I think you found it. It's like a dream come true. Hi, Mayday, Mayday. Regulation 108. No one secured objects in the cargo bay. 10 4. Don't you know the SOP, Code 20, Section F? Before you come aboard, your ID and then 10 7, okay? Otherwise, it's an S N A F U. He sounds smart, but what's he talking about? Who are you, fella? ID? I am Roger Double Niner of 3X Program on 11K. And you are UAP, unauthorized personnel. Oh, yeah? Well, all we want to do is set up our SS for launch and then get out of here, PDQ. Oh, 600. A little late for that. Time for TO. What is happening? Ta da! I see you at 30K. Uh, what did you say, Miss Rap? I don't know, but I think he put us down. And now he's taking us up. We're trapped. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that monkey. This trip wasn't planned. Who knows where we'll land? He thinks he owns the ship. If I could get my hands on him, I'd show him SOP. Bunko, this ain't no time to play kid songs. Huh? I'll teach you your ABCs. Mayday, mayday! Does not sound good. We're in space. There's no gravity. Now don't take this wrong, but I'm ten times as strong. Hey, this is fun. Hey, you guys. Mungo flies. Rocket, come in. Is anybody aboard? Identify, identify. Out of control. Must be an accident. Nobody's aboard that spacecraft. We'll have to go to the computers. Okay, the computers will save us. Not yet, pal. No computers until I do what I set out to do. I got a satellite to launch. Roger. Shuttle rocket now cleared for landing at nearest airport, Westminster International. Oh! How's that, Miss Rath? Getting a signal? Yes, there. The satellite signal is coming in. Well, what do you see? Oh, no. I can't control it. I put a satellite in orbit, 
And all I get to see is Hector Wordsworth and Mongo. So? What's wrong with that? I should have left the satellite here and put those guys in orbit. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Yeah, are we on TV? I'm pointing my face at outer space. Toy, toy. No, a pet is not a toy. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes children, especially small children, think pets are toys and play with them too roughly. Sometimes children will pull a pet's ears. Or they'll pull a pet's tail. So remember, don't play too roughly with your pet. You can not only hurt it, but you may make it angry. <laughs>